Hi, my name is Gabrielle Hartley, and I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Connecticut studying genome evolution in Gibbons. In these slides, I'm going to talk a little bit about how we're using nanopore-based genome assemblies to learn more about the features that define rapid chromosome evolution in small apes. Gibbons are a group of small, endangered apes that live natively in regions across Southeast Asia. There's currently between 18 to 20 extant species of gibbon that make up four genera, and here I've placed one representative species from each of the four genera. In particular, my work focuses on the eastern hulak gibbon, shortened to HLE, and the pileated gibbon, shortened to HPI. Unlike other gray apes, gibbons have highly rearranged karyotypes and a high degree of centromere variation. If we look across the phylogeny of gray apes, chromosome numbers have remained relatively stable, with just a slight variation from 2n equals 48 to 2n equals 46. However, if we zoom into just the karyotypes of gibbons, they have a significant amount of variation present. Among genera, chromosome numbers range from 2n equals 38 all the way up to 2n equals 52. Here, on this cartoon of the gibbon autosomes, regions that share homology with each of the 22 human autosomes are marked in a different color. Just by looking at these colors, you can get a sense for how rearranged these chromosomes are. My work focuses on investigating the features that underpin this rapid variation, starting with centromere variation. Centromeres are specialized regions of DNA that are really important to cell division because they're the site of kinetochore formation and microtubule attachment, which allows genetic information to be passed on equally during cell division. Often repetitive, centromeres are unique chromosomal loci because they're not defined by the mark of a specific sequence, but are rather defined epigenetically by the presence of a specific histone variant. Instead of the traditional H3 histone, centromere protein A, or SEMP-A, is incorporated into centromeric nucleosomes, and it's the presence of this protein that defines a centromere location. While most primates have alpha satellite DNA at their centromeres, gibbons have different DNA repeats, and so we were interested in studying how this might be related to their rapid chromosome evolution. To do that, I've been working on two near-complete telomere-to-telomere reference assemblies of gibbon individuals, one from Betty, a female eastern hulot gibbon, and one for Domino, a male pileated gibbon. These assemblies were created using a combination of simplex, ultralong, and duplex nanopore sequencing data, amounting to roughly 80x of combined coverage for each species. And while these are still in progress, we're excited that we have the eastern hulot assembly down to chromosome level, with only about 1.5 ambiguous bases for every megabase. While there's still some polishing to be done, both assemblies have a Busco completeness score of 95.5% and a Mercury QV score a bit above Q46. To begin investigating these centromeres, we decided to start with the centromere of the Eastern Hulot Gibbon chromosome 17. Due to chromosome rearrangements, chromosome 17 formed an evolutionary new centromere, and the sequence of this centromere was previously unknown. Using Sempe Cut and Run, we identified an array of tandemly repeated transposable elements that associate with Sempe. Repeated over 20 times, this repeat, made up of a combination of line and alley retro elements, seems to have been co opted as a centromeric satellite in the eastern Hulak gibbon. However, if we take a look at the same locus in the pileated gibbon, we do find the same organization of lines and alleys, but it's only found in one copy and does not have any evident Sempe association using Sempe Cut and Run. This leads us to suspect that the expanded locus was lineage specific within the Hulak genus. If we expand this view of the repeat unit across the phylogeny of primates, we're able to detect this organization of transposable elements in all apes and as far back as old world monkeys. While it's undergone inversions and deletions in some lineages, the only lineage that exists as an array is that of the Hulak, and that's the only one that exists as a centromeric locus. Overall, the identification of this repeat uniquely expanded and serving as a centromere in the eastern Hulot gibbon suggests that centromere repeats and centromere inactivation are playing a role in the rapid karyotype evolution of gibbons. We're really excited to continue working on these genomes and exploring more of their centromeres and breakpoints. With that, I'd just like to acknowledge the members of the Rachel O'Neill Lab at the University of Connecticut and our various collaborators and funding. A thank you to the organizers of London Calling for giving me an opportunity to share my research, and I encourage you to reach out or check out my poster if you have any questions.